Good morning, guys, 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 guys. Good morning. Um, but it's early morning. It's six thirty. We've got the sun rising behind us. Beautiful sunrise. Early morning in the bush. We're here at Mongana, Cameron and I, and we are going to be reminiscing, guys. We're going to be reminiscing about all the trips we've been on together. It's been a few. Yes, this is pretty. Eh? It's nice, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Let's show. Everyone, you can leave that there. Yeah. Beautiful sunrise, bright and night. And here is some jacanas, African jacanas. Good to be in the bush, man. Look at that. Uh, yeah, again. <laughs> He's just got back from the bush. How was that for you? Lovely. Do you miss and me? Those sunrises and sunsets are. Ah, they're special. spectacular. The water's huh? like glass. It's yeah, like yeah, this. yeah. Just makes you want a water ski. Amongst all those crocodiles and hippos. Man, I said to the guy, I said, honestly, buddy, from here, if we're to hit the water, if we're to land in the water here, are we going to make it to the bank? He said, no. <laughs> There's no chance. Those crocs are going to take you. So Cameron, for those of you who don't know, is terrified of the water. Terrified. Respectful. I just think, respectful. respectful. Let's just, let's just take, let's just take our, our audience back to mana pools. <laughs> Dan, Dan, roll the tape. <laughs> Dan, roll the tape. Are you still scared, Cam? Petrified. Yes. Are you petrified? Petrified. Are you? Yeah, seriously. What are you worried about? Getting eaten by hippos. Hippos don't, hippos don't eat people. Um, Don't want to swear, um, guys. We just uh, we <laughs> we got up to a point where there's a steep bank. You can see the bank behind me. Two male elephants on this side, so they couldn't climb out at the time, and a pod of like 20 hippos on our left, and we were stuck in the middle. Oh man, I am sweating. That was absolutely insane. I don't know how I feel, look, look at my hands. They are shaking. Oh, it was insane, incredible, amazing, unbelievable, epic. But, um, oh, man. I, I, you know, you learn something new about someone every trip. Uh -huh. And that was like, what? You scared of going in the Makoro? I'm not scared about going in the Makora. I'm scared about the <laughs> What's... Makora going in the water. Okay. Look at Fish Eagle at sunrise. Man. Unbelievable. Pretty, I don't have my. Oh, he's going to go in. Ah. I thought I would have got Almost a kill. Almost got a kill. Almost got a kill on Cam. Right. Oh, he's going to go. He's... Yes, he's thinking about it. Man, that's awesome. This is what it's about, eh? Sure. Absolutely. <clears throat> So first trip, yeah. First trip, first trip we went on. We got to talk about how it came about. How did it come about? I remember. How did you come about? Let's tell our audience how we met. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good start, eh? Should we? Yeah. So. Okay. Do you want to take it away, or should I? You take, take it, away? it away. I want to hear your version. My, I've got, I've got my own version. Yeah. <laughs> my version of how we met yeah. is I was still guiding for a company in the famous Sabi Sand Game Reserve in Greater Kruger National Park and there was a big group of Americans coming out to stay with us and I was hosting the group and I had a group that I was driving and we had a guest special speaker that was going to be speaking for the group back then named Kevin Richardson <laughs> and um didn't get invited back <laughs> he never so clearly, he never got invited back <laughs> but uh kev had the privilege and was fortunate enough to be on my vehicle yeah so he could learn a little bit about the bush and Absolute animal privilege. behavior and um not only that funny enough we had very other you know special guests on my vehicle with the canies which we both got to meet so i guided kev this was 2015 
never saw each other again for a couple of years and um, some lovely nice impala one. yeah beautiful ones mm. some male impala to the left and then lockdown Q lockdown yeah and figured well I have access to all these places um, it's locked down I'm dying to get out there let's let's go somewhere special and let's film some some wildlife during a time where the world is locked in their houses and no one's exploring and no one's on safari and that was it that was the beginning of all of this I'm just going to walk up to him So that's not an easy animal to take down and he's just chased them up the hill but uh, there's lots of lions still to come Yeah, let's let's head head there. Okay. Really, I'm amped, man. This amps me. So tradition has it that whenever I arrive, we are greeted by a male lion, and uh, we haven't broken tradition. So this is good. And uh, in case you're wondering where we are, we're here at Rockfig Lodge. Uh, a fantastic place in the Timbavati. Yeah, my Louis, they're going to be here by this uh, Mupani belt. Close to this, close to Road. There he is. Our first lion, guys. And uh, he's pretty chilled. He looks exhausted. As are we. He's starting to vocalize. He's vocalizing. Easy to identify. Out of all of our trips, out of all of our trips, yeah. what's been your highlight animal to see? What's been like, wow, that stands out in your head is like, oh uh, man, phenomenal. So we've seen white lions in the wild, yeah. we've seen black leopards in, the, in wild. the wild, we've seen jaguars in the wild, in the wild, we've seen penguins in the wild. Not you. I have. Yeah. <laughs> I saw penguins in Cape Town. Yeah. In the wild. I think seeing Juru for the first time that had an impact on me. That yeah. Seeing a jaguar in the wild, especially it's not just in the wild, it's 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 the location. It's the location. Pantanal. Actually that's my highlight. Yeah. When um, that that uh, jaguar, that female came swimming towards, swimming towards the, the, the camera and I'm took the one. caiman. That's my that's my highlight. Besides what I've just in, in slow mo. In slow mo. That. Roll it, Dan. Roll it. Look at the cayman. Look at the cayman just in front of us. Oh, no way. 
Tamir, tamir. This is unbloody. <laughs> believable. <laughs> Jump into the water. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Here, mm. Were you blown away by the, the leopard, or was it just was it a bit of an anticlimax? <laughs> no, I, think I was blown away by her. Um, there, but there were moments, so it was kind. Of, it was frustrating at times. I think um, just because of where we were, so you felt limited. With, with, I felt that. That we were limited with where we could drive, where we couldn't, you know. Yeah. Um, especially like getting there now and being so excited and wanting to to find this this ghost, you know, this ghost cat. Yeah. Black Panther, you know. Swart Leipa. Um. So it was just, it was interesting. Um, and then when we heard that she's crossed out of the property. We only had a limited amount of time to find her. She is there. Oh, well done. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Marking. She's in the right of the house, is it? Just gone down below. Should I get a PC out? Uh, there she goes. Hmm? Should I get my PC out? Yeah, well, she's probably going to come first. And maybe you get something on the rocks. It's quite yeah, cool. Yeah, that would look very nice. Yeah, we've got time. Can you just hold on mm -hmm. for a second? I'm good, thank you. Walk it towards it. Yep. Oh, she's actually to the right now, yeah. Yeah, we got it. You think that? It's a duck duck. It's probably is it? No. Duck duck. seen some cool stuff man and and it's you know it's continuing we're gonna we get we got some really cool places lined up man you have march he, he's the he's the organizer i'm just the klingon i'm the klingon yeah, i know i know i know a good thing when coming. i see it yeah yeah we've got some good stuff coming <laughs>